Good afternoon and welcome to Steel Park for the Sins League 2 game, Stranraer against Cowdenbeath. This stream is brought to you by Stranraer FC Live and is sponsored by GT Mortgages. I'm Brian Martin and on the camera is Simon Sullivan and on the graphics is George Frank. The Cowdenbeath, they have made two changes from the team that get beat on Wednesday night at uh, Fourth Banks against Stalin Albion. Uh, they went down 2-1 there and... In com comes in for them is Liam Buchanan and Andrew Barman, and I'll give the te team for them for Cowdenbeath. Uh, number one is a goalkeeper, it's Cameron Gill. Number two is Craig Thompson. Three is Fraser Mullen. Four is Jamie Todd. Five, Craig Barr. Six is Sam Denham. Seven, Alec Ferguson. Number eight is Gavin Morrison. Nine is Liam Buchanan. Ten, Robert Buchanan. And eleven is Andrew Barman. On the bench for them is the subkeeper. 21, that is David Carty. Number 12 is Scott Dunn. 14 is Harvey Swan. 15, Kyle Miller. 16, Samuel Ompropon. 17, Craig Dowell. 18 is Bobby Barr. 19, Quinn Coulson. And number 20 is Joe Moore, of course, who used to play for us at Stair Park in the first half of this season. Now, Stranath made three changes to the team who went down 4 1 at Annan last Saturday. And their team is Luke Scullion in goals, is 27. Number three, Sean Barnes. 22, Sean McIntosh. Five, Ayrton Sonkar. 15 is Craig Ross. Six is Anton Brady. Eight, Grant Gallagher. 16, Dean Hawkshaw. 10 is Brock Watson. Seven is Tommy Muir. And 11, Paul Woods. Now, the three changes who were dropping to the bench were Sam Ellis, who's number 13. Two, Scott Robertson. And Jinky Hilton, number 17, also drops to the bench. The other subs for Stranraer today are 34, Andrew Downey, 14, Josh Walker, 23, Ross Smith, 18, Michael Mullen, and 20 is Matty Yates. Now, the referee of the day is uh, Lorraine Watson, and I think, I'm assured, saying she makes history at Stranraer today as being the first lady referee uh, to officiate at Stair Park in a, in a league game. Uh, so, all the best to her and her. In our game today, Jamie Todd, now 27. A good ball in there. Paul Wood is at back post, but Thompson as well to head it out for the for the corner. A wee bit of wind today, Jed, but not as bad as as Albion Rovers game. Oh, absolutely not. No. But oh, it's okay a then. It's oh, a, oh, the, the ref gives a, a corner. I don't think she's really sure what happened there, but. Tackle there, and the boy, oh, the boy's almost through. A chance. Oh. oh, the referee sees nothing wrong with that. We play on. Paul Woods will pick it up in his own box here. Nice. Clear it, hopefully. He does. Yeah. So it's a throw in by Thompson again. And Bar won it, I think. Bar won it, and uh, Scullion clears it now. Hawks is away. He's, he's onside. There's Brooke Watson he's open on the other side. There yeah, we go. He's, he's found him a lovely yeah. ball. Oh, the boy done well. Oh. oh. Again, doesn't he beat, beat the first man. No, but he beat the first man there. Let's get a bit more height in that cross. Right, now, Hawks should have a chance to put it in. That's a better ball. And the boy's in the ground. I think it's. Uh, oh! I think it's Craig Bartz on the ground. And the, the, the county players aren't very pleased. No, they're not happy about that. But see the replay, maybe see what happened. Good effort. Uh, yeah, it was a good effort. Yep. I was, I was watching the boy in the ground. Uh, now he's up, he's up again. Yep. Oh, it's up. Uh, oh, it's Tom Muir back out to Dean Hawkshaw. Where that's a good a lovely ball. Oh, yes. and that's it's a goal this time. Oh, that was a lovely cross, Brian. And it's Sean Barnes. Sean Barnes with the goal. Yeah. Uh, he, he was unlucky before the corner, but this time he's found the net, and it's a goal to Stranraer, and it's 1-0 to Stranraer, and it's the goal scorer is Sean Burns after about 12 minutes, Jed. Oh, a lovely cross, and a lovely, lovely finish as well with that. Yep, uh, Burns with the head there, and... Uh, yep, just as you see the replay, a couple of chances, but uh, it's been mostly Stranraer. Again, Anton Brady, another great corner. It's well headed out. That uh, was a header from Gal there on target. Yep. 
a perfect opportunity to cross it. It's a great co cross if it oh, comes to Anton Brady. Brady looking for the chance and he goes for oh. goal. And a, again, a good Lovely save effort. there by Carmen Gill. I mean, Brady can't, Brady's got that in his locker, Jed. Yep. You know, he's, he, he can do that. Turn Cowden and Beath. You know, they get, they're not getting the ball out of the danger area. Again, a good corner. There's, a, yes. there's another one. It's Turner. Uh, that's Craig Ross. Craig Ross. The second one for the corner. And uh, that's 2-0. It's Turner. 16 minutes gone. Continuous pressure from the Blues. Pays off. And it's Craig Ross. That's two of the, two of the defenders scored, Jed. Excellent. Yeah. Oh just about to say that you can you can see Anton Brady you know as his fitness comes back he's having more and more effect in games now got to be said uh, Jed Cowden beats defence all over the place at these oh, corners absolutely. And, yep. you know free kicks and such like so it's 2-0 to Stenrar again oh and Hawkshaw's going to get on to it oh. again here brought Watson through in the far side he's got, he's got three runners in if he can spot them oh. again it's plays it to Mullen but Mullen being harassed by McIntosh that's good play by McIntosh and he's going to get the return here if he can just see Dean Hawkshaw oh, he's, oh. It's, uh, oh, Liam Buchanan fails to control it and it goes to Gallagher it's a lovely, oh, ball, lovely ball for Woods who's onside what a chance, it must be, oh, oh. Tom here, anywhere but there Tom, <laughs> anywhere but there mate, <laughs> what oh, a chance for Tom here yeah. to make it three, and he knows it to, yeah. head in his hands, he had to this, Brady to take, take the corner, oh, Cameron Gill punches it, it's out to Paul Woods, he might have a strike here, oh yes, he, nice, he gets the room, oh, goes out for the corner, by Woods there, yeah, that was a poor corner this time, just to yeah. beat the first man, but he comes back out to him quite lucky. They put you back in, and there's like, oh, oh. that was Grant Gallagher this time. To Ross. Scalding will clear it up, Park. No, oh, and that, you know. You know, that's uh, pretty crazy, Jed. Yeah. That's the way that they let them back into the game, we're you know, with we a mistake there. of that, and they've, they've still got to clear it. They do this time, Craig Ross wins the header. Nice touch by Watson. Again, that's lovely. Oh, oh that's nice. Woods, Woods, Woods was uh, on his way. If it, uh, now, is he offside? No, he's onside. Oh, the keeper's come well out of his box, and Craig Bard as well to clear it. They'll continue to play. In fact, there we go. Half time whistle. And half time is Stenrar 2 count beat nil. Jed, your thoughts? We played really well. With, we've been attacking. I just think we've, we've done really, really well. Just want more and more of the same in the second half, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's been quite comfortable, Jed, you know, uh, after that first goal with Burns. They've had a couple of sniffs at goal, but uh, probably their best chance came from the, our goal, goalkeeping mistake. Yep, absolutely. Hopefully but there's no more of that. OK, thanks for that, Jed. So at half time we'll leave you, and the score being Stenrar 2, Cowden Beath 0. Join us back at 4 o'clock for the second half. The big boy done that far side, loses the ball. Again, the Gallagher comes up, comes for, forward and it's Tam Muir, a brilliant ball to Sean Barnes on that far side. If we can just find the right man, he doesn't. Cleared well by Todd Cannon. Gets the win of the ball, ball, break of the ball there, the boy. Does well, but... It's a shot away. Sad. It's a shot, but uh, off target. He does get back. And there's a chance for Watson to, if he can control it, but no. Harvey Swan Wait. doesn't control it, and Watson's in. And goal, he just needs to get it across, no. Oh. It's a good recovery tackle there by Todd two or three weeks ago. Now, oh, Tommy, Muir, Tommy Muir looking for it, but oh, Matt nice. Todd does well. And he's going to get it across, Tommy Muir can put it back. Oh. <laughs> Craig Barry <laughs> eventually <laughs> wins the corner. Yeah. Lino's having nothing now. Good play by Woods. Woods again goes for goal, but uh, it's uh, well wide. Goes it in. Goes short, but Cannon using experience. Oh, oh Sonka. Sonks. And that's just oh. again. You know, Count Meath with two chances in this game, and yep. it's both come for, for errors for this. Individual errors, yep. 
I think Craig Ross is seen to get a slight push with Buchanan, but Box on the far side. We are corner, great corner another again. Good, yeah, another good corner. And it's Anton Brady back in. Oh, Craig Ross. Oh. And the goalkeeper, chance to. Oh, nice. He takes it quick, it's good, it goes to Hawkshaw and Woods, is it, oh, just the wrong ball there is I think. Oh he does well the boy. Oh there's, what a chance for Woods. Oh and that yes. goes in eventually, and that's seen nothing for St. Ra. Yeah. Probably a goalkeeper error, uh, the goalkeeper had it and it went through his leg but uh, it's a third to St. Ra and you've got to think Jed that's game over. Yeah absolutely. So the narrow 1-0 prediction has gone out the window definitely. Yep. That was the goal St. Ryan needed because, you know, Cowden Beath had definitely come into the game a wee bit more, but uh, That'll kill we'll, it we'll see it here on the replay. Uh, Harvey Swan just puts it, it's a good cross for Woods, actually, for Harvey Swan. Woods hits it, uh, the goalkeeper's got to do better there, yeah. I would think, you know, it's, it's close at him, but you'd think you'd have to do yeah. better there. But anyway, 3-0 to St. That's a great free kick here, Sonks. Oh, and oh. the boy done well. Unlucky. Uh, Brought it down on the line. Just. I, think, I think we need to see VAR for that one, uh, yes. Jed. There you go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Crowd shouting VAR. <laughs> so Barnes does. We'll have to win it in the middle of the park. There's two or three bases out, and Woods does well, and he sees the oh. keeper off his line, but. Bit cheeky that one. Probably the better <laughs> option was to boot. So I think it's a, a kind of colour on the front and the, and, the, and the white at the back, I think, Jed. Yep. Nathan Brady puts it in. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's nearly. It just didn't fall to anyone. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's great for Ross. But, uh, Harvey Swan's done well. Yep. And he's still running, and they're letting him run here. Oh, that's that's good play for Kevin Beast. That's our best bit of play of the day. Oh, yep. And it's just past the post on the far side. That was definitely Kevin Beast's best, best passes of play all day. Swan was allowed to run with. So a big long ball there, it should be Scullions, he does well, a, bit, uh, a couple of players down in the, oh Craig Ross, Craig Ross looks, oh, oh that looks, oh, no, that looks no, a bad no. one, oh, oh dear. no no no, oh dear, oh no, this is what we don't want to see, no absolutely not, oh, oh. Nearly a second injury there. Yeah, I just hope he's okay. Yeah. So we'll go back to the action here. This is Harvey Swan. A good ball in there, but it's cleared by Sam Ellis. What a chance here for Cowden Beast, but he's robbed by Ant the man oh. of the ball. <laughs> Hands in front of us. Oh, unlucky. Oh, oh, and he's Probably lost the Muir. ball. Yes. <laughs> and he, Tam Muir's off oh, and running. Pulling Brock uh, Watson's shot there. Oh, no. Here's the Paul Woods, and Paul Woods will have a strike. Oh, oh he, hits. he hits the post, and it'll come back out eventually to Jenke Hilton. That would have been a lovely goal. Uh, here's the, the replay, Jed. It would, uh, it's Paul Woods actually getting this, and uh, hits the bar. And the goalkeeper oh, was, was beating to it. Yep. So, Jenke Hilton with St. Ross, 96th corner of the, the day. <laughs> And he gets in, can he follow this time for Burns? He gets an end it right enough, oh, and a bit of, oh, <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> Sean Burns. Fraser Mullen with a long kick again, again, Luke Scullion come from miles, out. no chance of getting the ball, don't know why he came out there. Like I think maybe Jamie said be more aggressive. Yeah. There we go, that is oh. nearly four minutes into your time, and final score is Stenrar 3, Cowden beat 0. Jed, your final thoughts? Excellent performance. Thoroughly deserved the win. Let's hope we just need to kick on with this now and get on a run. Yep. Uh, Sean Barnes scored first. Sean, uh, Jed, and after that, really, it was plain sail. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I uh, think only, there was only going to be one winner. It's the only time we got put under any pressure at all was with our own mistakes. They really, Cowdenbeath didn't show much going forward at all. And unfortunately, you can see why they haven't scored many goals. Yeah. Yeah, you, Buchanan is a shadow of the player he was. You know, he had a great chance, really, you know, to, to get them back into it just before we scored. You know, but he, he missed his effort. So, uh, so as, well as, as well as scoring three goals, it's nice to get the clean sheet for a change as well, from our yeah, point of view. that's right. A clean sheet, yeah. After, I mean, after the defeat last week, it's good to bounce back with a win. 
you know, Cowden Beast now in big, big trouble, you know, and uh, we go we go through to Edinburgh next Friday night uh, for the for the Friday night game against Edinburgh City. Full of confidence, you would think. Yep. So I don't know how the game went between Stenny and Edinburgh today, but uh, you know, we win that. <laughs> we could be back in the running, but uh, yeah. anyway, thanks for watching. This program has been sponsored by GT Mortgages. Thanks to the Carlin Simon Sullivan and to Jed for his input well, and to George welcome. Frank for all his graphics and from me, Brian Martin, it's good night from Steel Park. <laughs>